Okay, like I said in, in a few of my other streams, I moved my camera. And based on what I saw for episode 2, it it is an hour long. Because I just looked up full episode on YouTube and it just says an hour and four minutes, so I'm guessing it should be that long. Let me just make sure I'm good first. Okay, everything's loaded in. Continue. And this is new Tales from the Borderlands, so... If we just take away the new, that'll be the older one. This isn't cruelty. This is just the natural order of things. And it may not have saved the whole thing. This is the ending. Yeah, that was the end of the episode. I wanted to continue. <coughs> <coughs> this is episode 2 though, so, yeah. <coughs> Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things. But that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes... All it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. Banana Blast. <gasps> what have they done to you? Louis? Lou, where are you? Come on, pal. You better just be looming somewhere like you always do. Lou! Make a bad joke if you hear me. You're alive and you're not dead. And why didn't you help us? Uh, some... You're alive! <coughs> I thought I lost you! Incorrect. I am not alive. Nor did you or I change location. We are both still at Franz Froget's, the establishment famous on Promethea for its low Yowl score. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out um, of him? It could be It'll worse. Be He's a... Look at the bright side. At <laughs> least we survived, right? Fantastic! Fudge 
slide, whip your butter ripple blast, kimchi lemon cowabunga. I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. So he just wants a thing right. just to charge himself and he's just... Wallow. <coughs> this is me. Wallowing. getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. He wants to... She wants to... Uh, uh, oh. Um, so, I'm... What's been in the hood? I was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going and you nearly got blown up and... Oh. You're making fun of me. I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still-smoking pile of rubble. Uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say. Yeah, Thanks for the follow, Lone Wolf. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. So internally, this this is a new me. This is how I choose to look now. It's my new thing. Well, you're covered in blood. I'm fashion forward. I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Coldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> well, that's not Borderlands universe. Lots of killing. Ends up being a lot of killing. Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. Shh. First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is I'm just friend. being born in reverse. Enough so so that I'm doesn't make any fun. sense. Alright! Enough sibling squabbling. This is a froyo shop, not family therapy. I don't think this still qualifies as a froyo shop. Say that again. Whoa, whoa, we're getting off on the wrong foot. Friend, this is Anu, my socially inept sister. Anu, this is Friend, my 
sensitive boss. <laughs> she took me in when I had no place to go. You know, after you ditched me. I... Yes. Thank you, Octavio. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Whoa! Uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. His friend. Louis? Miranu. My sister. Robot friend. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh... Never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, Malawan TDR, doesn't matter. You cork goons take what you want, you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas. I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, you're a strange sure. person. I don't believe you. Um. I don't know. You sure seem like a go. corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jabbers. Well, maybe not. She's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right. You're okay with me. For now. <laughs> thank, For now. Thank me. I mean you. I mean... <laughs> thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. <laughs> you trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Um, well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me. It never happened. Great. That's that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it. Nothing. It's empty. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like, a radio. It's those damn meddlesome teens. Teens? Teenagers? Yes, teenagers oh, love to uh... impersonate electrical appliances. Like radios and blenders and sous vides. I am not involving myself in this. I once saw two teenage girls perfectly impersonate a dishwasher. That sounds highly degenerate. Maybe it was this. <gasps> what could that be, Octavio? I don't know. It looks like some sort of comms device. But who could have left it here? Maybe it was teenagers. It was not. Could be a teen's comms device for arranging dabs and spinnies. Those are not things. Ella. Oh no. They are. Really? Fran, it's Louis, stop. No, it's a teenager's comms device. Somebody must have dropped it. Yes, 
TDO. Yeah, probably. Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whatever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri mm. device, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No! No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. Um, we will be killed by all the guns. It will help out with... Your system uh... is correct. You probably will be. You went to Atlas <coughs> to build something great. Obviously that didn't work out or they wouldn't have fired you. Actually it was more of a conscious uncoupling. That is not a thing. Oh no. You never built your dream project because you never had real power. A real opportunity. But now we've got ears hmm. on a freaking vault. Whatever's in there, I guarantee you. You'll get an opportunity to build something. I don't something really nice. have anything yet. To do I gotta something get a PC, so. Meant to do. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. <clears throat> People call you. Anu, and it's set up. How are you? It's uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know. Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little uh. Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not right. being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! <sighs> What's a Timmy? TDR has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratchet's ass about Atlas or TDR. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. <coughs> Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know the most. Uh, do it for us, uh, do it for revenge. Don't have um. happy do it for revenge. <clears throat> for don't do it for me. Do it for revenge. I don't think that's a healthy. I'm listening. Whatever's in that vault has got to be powerful, and probably a weapon. A weapon that he changed his voice just to. Hands would help you do some serious damage to Susan. I like doing serious damage. This is better than doing minimal damage. We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> All right. I'm in. Yes! 
Fran Mix 3 will be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. <laughs> I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers <laughs> data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of Who ten will, will judge your team dramatic all with sorts that. of data <coughs> your speech actions how you look at each other <coughs> personal hygiene we really don't need you to score our teamwork reluctance to accept a teamwork score that's going to affect your teamwork score but so he's the one that's keeping track on our, on our choices so about a teamwork score the odds of you failing are already remarkably high. Because if you go there back, small chances success well, depends well, if you were, on your ability to work well, if... together and find cohesion <laughs> as a team. Based on interaction so far, <laughs> there's the like relationship choices, in. and then there's All the actual choices. You're all rude dudes with foul moods. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Friend, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. <coughs> we'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't <coughs> take long at all. The attacks are still happening, oh no. More like, oh no. And the Life is Strange mood type music. Mood. Like it gives that vibe, but it's not. Life is Strange. Capturing everyone. Where TDR's heading. Zipper Ripper Athleisure Wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The light group really supports the delegates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you. Uh, if you happen uh, to see any oh. corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh. Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, let's quit dilly dallying uh -huh. and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way. I 
feel like they're doing a lot of stuff too quick. It's already here. You've got a it's really good, but it's like a... Into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. I think they're doing it in a good way. Yes. It's going quick, but it's like... <clears throat> It's not like really, really fast. It's like enough to like get there with the if story. You see any bodies down here? Pretend you didn't. Why would we talk about something we definitely won't see? Got it. Baco, good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDO troops. How do you know that? Uh, I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. <clears throat> Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? Hey everyone, let's sneak. Um, and if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? <coughs> stealth. <coughs> like... Shooting them quietly? Uh-uh. Like not shooting at all. Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I guess. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so our options are to sneak around and pray nobody swats us or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you Octavio's plan, friend's plan, um... Good to be back on Promethea, huh? Guess you're the tiebreaker, sis. What do you want to do? I don't love unnecessary violence, but it does seem like Fran knows what she's doing. Yeah, of course. Totally understand. Alright, get behind me and stay light on your feet. In case you gotta dodge any people juice. Ah! Okay. This is... Okay. This is... Okay. There is gonna be quick time events because... So I'm ready. Yeah, I pressed the wrong buttons. Good. Now I have time to make it. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Oh, 
Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's Streetwise. I'm Streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. I stayed put, so I didn't know. Is, is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vault Lander connoisseur. My Vault Lander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vault Landers must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat! You wanna... Fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. Okay. As the warrior code. But if I win, your Vaultlander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come down! Select your <laughs> That's the only one that I have. Fall. Fall. <coughs> I didn't lose any of my health, but I... <laughs> Just got a trophy, but um... You got a new vault. I respect your superior combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're, uh, gonna go this way. No more words! I said go. Whichever trophies I don't finish, I'm gonna get platinum later. I'm gonna replay the game and I'll play it myself. I'll probably stream it. Either way. Or are they? I mean, this could be the vault entrance right here. Try it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Cram it in there. They have no idea what the. Three TDR soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogert better than ice cream? Hold we on. can use those guards. It's not what that was. I'm recent risk it. Why start now? Vaults tend to be guarded by big, angry alien things. <coughs> if one shows up, do you <coughs> the one holding the vault key? 
If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer. We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. No. Let's go. How? That's the end. Okay. Thanks for playing. <coughs> No. Let's go. Got it that time. It's hold. I'm so used to the whole telltale thing to be like, like rapidly click it Confirmed. like That's crazy. Open. But yet this is not telltale. This is you got the key. You go first. two oh, no, 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 two no, no, K I games or whatever it is. Oh no no no! Be, be, be my guest. Seriously, I insist. I see something. Wait wait! Hold on a second. I think I've done it. Yes. Yeah! We're too late. Done. We Wait, gotta move Anthony. now. Anthony. <coughs> Doug Anthony. Stealing what's rightfully ours <coughs> to steal. We gotta get in there. Wait. About that backup. Definitely about that backup. It's okay. No big deal. Just a couple of alien warriors. Pretty sure they didn't see us. <laughs> we got them. We just need to leave. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? <clears throat> I read. The point is, we are done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Um, please, I need this. You Whatever don't trust me. We have come too far. We have come too far. We've come this far. We can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, <coughs> Anu. I've sunk a fallacy <coughs> before. Uh, we're safer here than out there. 
or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. <gasps> I got it. What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a mask? Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet rat Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! Taco eater, man. That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well. Who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Would not. I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Ah. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... <clears throat> I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. All right. We'll see you on the other side. Some time later. We made it. It's beautiful. Fran should be seeing this. She could name a frog after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret. Sauce. You're right. And should be here. Fran! Oh! Miss me? It's... No! Anyway, <coughs> look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. <coughs> It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Cause they went through it. I think I got about 15 more minutes the rest of the game. The rest of the episode because I'm playing this through episodes and then if I play it again I'll play it in larger. Cause, Cause this is gonna be on YouTube so that's why I'm playing in parts so I can... It's quiet. So it's easier to edit. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound-eating device or something? Can you hear me? 
Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? <clears throat> oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally both. There does seem <coughs> to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the <coughs> genius of Dr. Janus and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Okay, right, find the treasure. This looks promising. Friendly reminder, more of those alien robot bastards could portal in here at any moment, but hey, take your time. No pressure. Still nothing? That's cool. Keep looking. Juniper thinks you're doing a great job, by the way. <coughs> Now I check pile. Could probably go over there too and check pile. Um, what else could I do? But, um, I can check pile over there. Stuffy in here. Wait, wait, wait. I'll check the pile first and then. Maybe you just gotta <clears throat> think like treasure. Like, <coughs> if I were treasure, where would I hide? Need a professional rune wall inscription service? <coughs> Call Vinnie and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? <sighs> um, okay. Can't look over there. Better translate this <coughs> treasure circle. Guys, I think we hit the jackpot. We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure! Actually, maybe not. Really? I... What? Give, sis! I made it through the... treasure? This feels like the Iridian version of a big red button. No, I'm with Anu. We shouldn't mess with that. <clears throat> uh. Oh! I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. <coughs> Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? <coughs> there might be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavia sense <coughs> is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. <coughs> this is bullshit! <coughs> oh shit. They should probably go... now.
definitely leave now. No, this is my fault. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you idiots help me? I don't know. What? It seemed like the little guy had it handled. The little guy versus that thing? I uh, suggest we split up. It can't get all of us. Go to yoga Well, at least I get to die. Stop being grim! You're freaking me out! Is that really how you want to go? In the belly of a bald monster? There are worse ways! You really want to die before you can make TD or pay? You die now, you die a loser! You hear me? A poor unconventionally attractive loser I'll just say that Friend, you did it! Oh! It hurt my butt! I... Okay? <laughs> I hit the thingy too hard and I... Oh, hurt my butt! I don't... What, what can we do? Nothing! Too late for anything now Okay, well, good job. Okay. Is it really dead? Dead. Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Friend, you made that look easy. Give me the stick. I mean, don't friend, call me a loser. Um, give me. If anybody gets to poke this thing, it ought to be me. <clears throat> Dead. Good golf. What in the what? Actually, they should go again. And leave?
hell's that green thingy it's got in its tongue? I don't think it's in its tongue. I think he's cradling it with its tongue, sort of protecting it. I mean, I respect it. That's some next level's tongue work. That's gross. And besides the point, I think it's healing him. We need to get it out of that <clears throat> monster's mouth. I... I have a plan. I was worried we were all gonna die. Now we're gonna die with a plan. Mm, that's nice. Uh, uh, okay. So, what's the plan? <clears throat> Let's hear it. And the big plan is... <gasps> you want me to see if I can romance it, right? Fran, you need to freeze that monster's tongue before it kills Octavio. Sounds good. Wait, what? You're the quickest, loudest one here. <clears throat> you need to occupy that thing so Fran can freeze the tongue and punch the shard loose. And what's your role in this genius plan? Relax and eat bonbons? I'll be delivering the coup de grace. You're gonna make a soup? I'll send the shardless monster on vacation. Ideally, to a dimension where it can't kill us. All right. We're dead. Hey, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last word should be memorable. <coughs> Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! No rest for the wicked. No, I can do better. No rest for the wicked. No. No rest, Octavio! Right! Just give me time to get into position and then hide like your life depends on it. <coughs> hey! 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 Ugly! There's no rest for the wicked! That means you and me, we gotta get moving! Crap. It slimed me. I feel like I'm getting eaten by condiments. Uh, I missed that. Uh, it's sticky. Why is it so sticky? Alive, but you need to leave. Where's friend? In position. Great. Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it. That thing nearly ate me alive. Yes, great. Now I need you to get almost eaten again. <sighs> kind of scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go. <clears throat> hey, ugly. Looking for me? <laughs> Focus on the solution, Anu. Not the giant rampaging problem that's gonna eat your brother. I can't get it. 
nuclear shot. You're too far out of range. Great. How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? <sighs> oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Fuzzy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you... <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Sure, they get to cheerlead while I run for my life! Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now! Don't need to get scared now, Octavio! Oh, what we doing? That's right, keep running! Order up, special delivery, um... Voyage. Enjoy your vacation to somewhere else. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! I did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa! Hey! 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 You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me. And um, I have the normal way. I have no idea. I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, we gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. I'm trying to see the raid. We just did that, right? That was... So we're like vault hunters now! We are a triple digit body count short of being Frippin actual vault hunters. But it certainly <coughs> seemed that we just managed to... Defeat a space god! Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we <coughs> could probably sell that green thingy for a mint! I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just... <coughs> When I touched it, I saw something. It felt something. Like 
something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something? Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! <coughs> Kick Susan Coldwell's <coughs> ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that so I got nothing to... Got all the, leverage. the only thing I had <coughs> left was my Froyo shop and they blasted it to bits. They want to finish me off? They're welcome <coughs> to try. Hey, don't talk like that. You have plenty to live for. <coughs> Like, uh, uh, maybe just don't talk sometimes. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond fort in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god. I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Okay. Episode two done. All right, and then let me go back. At the end of this game, I'm gonna go through my choices, but in a different stream. I'm gonna hang out and like look at the uh, Vault Hunter stuff that I collected and all that. <laughs>